Hello. <laughs> what are we doing today? Prepping? Desert prep? What are we prepping for, though? We are prepping for the epic mother <laughs> adventure. That's right. What's it called again? Say it. I like the it. The epic mother <laughs> adventure. Bleep, bleep. Yeah, so that's it. That's what it is. Real quick. It's 120 miles through the desert from California to Prim, Nevada. Barstow, Prim, Nevada. <laughs> Spend the night. Spend a day riding in Prim. Spend the night. Spend a day riding back. That's it. It's not really that epic. A lot it of is epic. Have done it. It's an epic mother adventure. But we're doing it in a brand new car. I mean, think of the dangers of that. It's got we could get scratched. all the amenities you can oh. have in a side by side. This one's going too. We better shut that uh, door. Oh my god, you just barely flashed on him. This one's going too. We bought a fire extinguisher. I might or might not have shown you that already. I tried to paint it black and it didn't go well. Uh, there's two halves to this. Oh, they're about both there. We're going to go ahead and throw that on and then we're going to, I don't know. What? I'm going to buy it. We have a razor. Yeah, go ahead and say it. Yeah. Ours never burned our last one and this yeah. one won't either because of that. It's a razor thing. Anyway, so we have the spare tire mount. We have an antenna. Oh, that was the other thing. Antenna mount. I'll show you what's up with that. Okay, and the jack. And the jack. We're going to try out something different. This is a stabilizer jack off of a toy hauler. But my idea was that if we have this with us somewhere, if we can fit it in, uh, we can use the impact and we'll show you that right this very moment. Ready? Right now. Let's... Oh yeah. So here's what we were talking about. We might take this along with us. If we do, it's gonna be our jack that we can use an impact on real His quick. His name's Jack. Because otherwise, uh, what we have a floor jack we could take. Uh, it's light. Yeah. I don't know, there's some options. So if you have good, uh, I know some people are gonna say bottle jack, we could do that too, but we have this as part of the reason. So let's try it real quick. Let's see what we get. Hold on. I'm going the wrong, wrong way. way. Whoops. There you go. Redo. Redo. It might be cool. I think it is We cool. might grease it up. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking right. Try to catch it right under the, yeah. See, that's kind of. Right nope. there? Yeah, something like that right there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see where we're at here, guys. Oh, yeah. Am I good? Yeah, you're off the ground. This is like your best idea ever. That was so... I'm like a NASCAR pit crew, for real. We course. do need to grease that thing up, though, for sure. All right, so let's pull this wheel off then. All right. Here we go. We're going to use the big boy. Let's do it. We'll be right back. Right, we're going to pull this wheel off. All we're trying to do is see if uh, we can make our spare tire mount that we bought work on Please this cage. Please work. We bought a different cage after we bought the spare tire mount. Love the cage. Apparently, I didn't think it out. Go ahead. Yeah, you did. Let's go. Much better. So the wheel's off. Uh, don't put your hand inside of a wheel ever like that. I swipe right here or anything? Nope, okay, do sorry. It. Don't do it. Is it what not to do? Yeah, don't do it. Ask Scott. He'll tell you. Oh, God. I don't want to know. You don't want to know. It hurts. All right, here we go. Okay, so. Hang on. You hold this camera. And you'll lift. Please yeah, don't hurt your back. That's a heavy set. My back already hurts. So. Oh, well. Then I hurt away. Uh, all right. Oh, my. Oh, that's actually not as bad as I thought. Okay. Somebody today made the comment that this. These tires are super heavy, and they're not, they're heavy. Yeah, it's a big 32 off-road tire. My it's TV not, Coyotes. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though, for sure. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, um, when you lift it, it's pretty heavy. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. going to work still. What? Oh, are you happy? What mount did we buy? Dragonfire Racing or uh, uh, no. Tusk? Yeah. I, I don't know. Whatever. We bought a mount. We bought Look one. at that, guys. All right, so let's see how this is going to work out for us. Here's the mount we bought. I've been, I didn't unwrap it because we honestly, thought we were going to have to return. We thought about returning it, I mean. Okay, so let's see. Is this going to work? Well, no. Wait. Still not going to work. 
Well, oh, it won't go back anymore, huh? Shoot. Can we build? Uh... That's really close. And actually, not even really close at all. All right, so what we might do, like here's what we might do. Because we're out of time and stuff, I don't want to screw around with this. Oh, right there. Uh, we might uh, cut the end off this. Off we'll this. come up here because this is closer. Uh, well, we can't put it on there. We have a roof bed. Ah. Uh, so let's open it up because we're going to keep it either way. We're going to modify it and make it fit, right? Even if it has to fit in this car. So we'll open this up and be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, okay. Let's look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, but it looks so it's cool. cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Uh, I think it was a tusk. That's what you had me looking at. It might at. be a tusk, yeah. But yeah, look at that clamp. I mean, it's bulky. It's got uh, six six screws. Mm -hmm. So we're going to experiment with where it could possibly go on our car since we, uh, you know, we bought it after the fact. You know what? I we didn't think, really think we were... I don't I think we thought we were going to get the cage in time. I oh. thought we thought we were going to be riding high. I thought there was a possible possibility we'd have to ride with that ugly one. I did too. I was really not happy. I was going to let the kids I drive know, it. I know Clint's going to have to. We rode our ugly cage razor for a long time. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, right. All right. I hate it too. Okay, here we go. So, what size is it first? Okay, it's that size. Right here, it's Which, and this is unfortunately a different size because I thought about going off of that size. You can't put rubber bumpers in there. Um, so, pick up the difference now. Make up like like oh, this? Here. Nah. No, like that. So a... we could, you know what I can do? What? I might do. Hmm. I might uh, cut this and sleeve it and extend it. Okay, so after some discussion and some um, measuring, we'll say, we have finally decided on what how we're going to mount this tire. Tell him. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, look at this. Oh, yeah, squirrel. Do the tire well, mount. Anyway, okay, here's what we're going to do. This will totally work. Basically, we need the tire all the way back because of the stupid cage you bought. Uh, <laughs> which is awesome. Which is awesome. We yeah, love it. Love it. Um, so, here's, let me show you what happens. Here's the problem. So, you put the, you know, put the thing in the wheel and we're, I don't know, were we like in six inches or something? Yeah, probably about four maybe. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this and extend it four inches. There you go. Put a little sleeve in it. We're going to sleeve it. Yeah, stick it up. Make it stick out six more inches, and uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, I think it's gonna actually look awesome. I think it'll it's be gonna fine. be dandy approved for sure. Yeah. I think it's gonna work out great, actually. You're just... Oh, look at this cage. I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, so sleek, so radius, so amazing, so much cooler than Clint. Yeah, get, Ron. A, get, a, get a shot from back here. Let me put some music to it. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Look at this, guys. Alright, okay, that's what we're gonna do on that. Ooh, let's move on. That's that part, okay. So this is what we like to do with our new stuff. Chop it right there. Uh, now. Is it perfect? Is it gonna get put together with a razor part? Oh my god, look our, uh, there's gonna be a part of our other razor in there? Yeah. Oh my god. A brand new tire mount broke. <laughs> got broken. It's 150 bucks and we just cut it right now. $75. But, so, I mean, yeah, we want this to be pretty stout, but remember it's not gonna actually hold the weight of the tire. It's actually just keeping the tire from moving around in the bed. Right. That tire will be setting in the bed. Right. It's yes. Yeah. This. What to tell them what this is? Any guesses? This is a piece of the original roll cage from our very first side by side, 2015 RZR Razor um, XP1000. Um, this was a piece of the roll cage that we cut out when we modded that cage back in the day, back in 2015 or 16. Um, we did it ourselves that back in the day. So and it has to be like five inches because that's what we cut five out. Five inches is what we cut out. And so this is a piece of it that we've been, uh, we've had in the shed. I found a blue spring, half a door, and this. Yeah, right. <laughs> this isn't an exact fit the way I wanted, but I'm going to do some rosette welds mm -hmm. and 
plug weld kind of thing and a weld around here and again it doesn't hold the weight of the tire it just holds the tire in the it back. holds our heart that's yeah. part of our very so that's here's awesome. what we got oh my god that is awesome yeah. see what happens when you go scavenging around in the middle of a rainstorm and you're creepy spider infested shed at night <laughs> so what i'll do is i will uh put this all together and put the tire in here i'm pretty excited i don't think it could have been something any better than that put it all together you know and that's probably going to be just about perfect all right well, okay. that's going to be later another another video but i think that's going to work for us all think? right so we're going to slap this wheel back on and then we are going to move on to the next phase. Our next part of this video, getting ready for our epic adventure in the desert. Part of getting ready for the epic adventure is getting the car ready, and we got to move that antenna. And like I said, I think hopefully already, or if not, I'm telling you, saying again, we're going to move the antenna to the center of the car. Right. All right. So hold on. Let's do this. Okay. I think we I think we're saying that we really like this jack, right? Yeah, it's small and it has a small footprint and yeah. it works. And it's power cuz look, we're going to have the impact with this on this epic journey anyway. Epic fucking journey, ready? Yep. Wait, is it epic? Okay, go all the way down then. We'll... Oh. Don't do that kind. Of. Test. We should probably grease it up, clean it up. Oh, that's done. Just right. let it lay on sets, all right? Oh. Just, close it all the way. Yeah, just no that trigger's variable, so you don't have to pull it all the way. I get nervous. It's real freaking, it's tough. All right. <laughs> but. So because we do like this jack, what I was just thinking, let's see. Once we get the spare, I wish we had the spare and the jack, but right now we can't have this jack. And it's my fault. God. Okay, go on. What's your fault? I didn't get the spare yet. Go on. Yeah, we can't test the spare on the jack because the jack needs to hold the car up for us to have the spare right now. Right. But anyway, I'm thinking if we can get this far enough over in the bed, um, secure uh, it down. I think there's definitely enough room in there. I think so. Secure it down right there. Uh, with something. We might wrap it so it doesn't scratch the brand. Scratch the strap. But yeah. And then we'll have this jack with us. We'll have the impact. Boom. Power Boom. jack. On the road with us. I like it. We already have it. Again, there. I know there's better solutions. Don't send us. I mean, actually do. Send us. We like the, to hear from you guys. All the stuff that's way better than this. Yeah. But you have to understand, we're getting ready to go. We have this. We don't have to buy anything right now. We're going to use it. All righty, sir. What's up? Okay. So we're going to relocate that. We just kind of threw this up because we needed to test the radio. Right. Uh, Dean came by and he's like, hey, why don't you put it over here, right? Okay. Antenna will come off here and you just put a little bit of rubber around the antenna and in that way it don't tear up right here. Uh-huh. It don't tear up And that up right won't be there. in the way of our mount, of our tire hitting it? Not at all. Not okay. even close. No. So that's what we're going to do. And what we're ultimately going to do... <laughs> wow. Get out of here. I can't do it right now because I don't have the end. But we're going to put a new end on this coax cable. If you've run into this problem, you can't run this coax through a, through, uh, I through those today. a hole in a tube because uh, the end's giant, right? Yeah. Both ends are giant. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the end off. Not right now. We'll come back for that. We're going to cut the end off. and uh, um, I think we're as good as we're going to get for right now, and that's the end of this one. That's the end of this That's video. the end. That's done.